Well, hello, and how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. I'm uh, a little off this evening, so I'm not um, not on my game. I'm not feeling the greatest at the moment physically. I think I'm just physically exhausted from the day, the weekend. I had a, had a very, very busy weekend, and I think it's kind of caught up to me. It seems my chat window isn't working for some reason. And uh, things are all sideways on me. Let's see if I've got the link here. Is it working? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Nothing seems to want to cooperate. <laughs> oh well. Alas. It's just. Uh, uh, it, it's, ask, it's asking me to become a special member. Why would I... Well, <laughs> my own YouTube channel is asking me to become a special member of it. I, I can't... Um, I can't explain that. It's very strange. So, let's see if I can fix things here. Hmm. Showing two feeds right now. I don't understand that. Weird technology. Things are all askew, it would seem. Um, alas. I will uh, try and get through this evening. And apologies for starting late. Uh, the other, um, There's another podcast that had uh, neglected to check the schedule. And um, they ran till uh, 9.30. So... That's why I started later than normal this evening. Looks like the chat isn't uh, working for some reason. I don't know what's happening. Technology, uh, it's great when it works, eh? <laughs> well, anyway, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. I'll just continue to uh, to talk and try and help any way I can. So I had a bit of a, it was a quiet work day. It wasn't super busy. I had a few meetings this afternoon, and I, I was just very tired all day. We had a, a long, a very busy weekend. Friday I had a um, set up for my uh, my beloved daughter's 18th birthday. We set up a, I brought over a bunch of gear and set it up for a karaoke party. So then we went out to... Uh, Went out for a bite to eat and a drink, and uh, we we got home later than normal. Actually, I think we were out till almost midnight on Friday, which is quite late for me because I get up every morning early. And uh, yeah, then Saturday I worked all day Saturday, and then Saturday night we went to a concert, and then of course last night the Super Bowl. So it was a very busy weekend, and as a result, I was very tired today. And I think that's what what is hitting me this. Uh, this Monday evening, just just tired. I don't think. Um, looks to me like the chat isn't working for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, I can't. Uh, I can't read anything. If anybody is trying to, it doesn't seem to want to work. It's just. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Trying to open it up here and see if it'll work. Maybe it isn't working. Some days things just do not cooperate. I think this is one of those days. So I apologize if I seem out of sorts. Yeah, tired. Definitely tired. 
a little, maybe a little empty headed because of the fatigue, because the technology is not behaving. I, I get frustrated and, um, instead of taking out my frustrations by yelling, because oftentimes when the depression is bad, that's what you do because you're, you're tempered, you know, your fuse is so incredibly short that you just yell at inanimate objects because the technology doesn't behave or cooperate. But I'm not, I'm not too upset about it this evening, to be honest with you. It's kind of like, well, it's not working. There's not really much I can do about that. Just, there it is, you know. I think there's, uh, let me just check on something here. I may be having a, a connectivity problem with something. I'm just going to check on something real quick. And see if things are working out accordingly. Oh, yeah, okay. Seems to be. Uh, seems to be functioning. Yeah, I have something functioning, but the uh, chat isn't working for some bizarre reason. I can't explain that. I don't know what's happening. It's very strange. Live stream, but... Uh, I don't know what's happening. I have to um, I have to coordinate my technology because it's not. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right, Dan. It's you know what's happening is I set up the schedule, and uh, when I try and just go live, it does go live, but it it seems to have another thing scheduled at the same time. So I'll just delete that and run with the one that we're running <laughs> with because I don't know why that happened. It's very bizarre. Anyway, I can see the chat now. So something seems to be working correctly. Okay, yeah, there we go. Bizarre. And I mean, this is the realm that I work in is audio visual and computer technology, but sometimes things just, uh, things just do what they want to do. I'm actually having a Neo Citroen right now because I had a terrible headache earlier. I don't know where it came from. Um, I was out, I went for a walk earlier this evening as well because it was incredibly mild out. So I went, you know, maybe about two kilometers, nothing crazy, but just walk around the neighborhood and get some fresh air. I started to get a little chilly and I thought, okay, time to go home. Came back home and sat down on the couch and tried to think about what to talk about this evening. I had a million ideas throughout the day, and as the day wore on, and then when I couldn't start at nine, it kind of took away from what I wanted to, uh, what I wanted to talk about. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, with the wrong video. Um, there's some weirdness. I'll, uh, try and figure it out for next week, or next time I go live. I'm gonna try and do some recording this week as well. And I should be able to get it done. But last week, uh, last week was an incredibly busy work week, and uh, all the production stuff did uh, take a bit of a backseat to the daily work. Oh, just a second, I need to, I need to fix something here. It's getting a bit of a buzz from the um, amplifier and the monitors, and I don't like that. It's. Uh, it's a bit of a, a distraction from my um, ability to concentrate when you hear this high-pitched whining squeal. I don't think you guys can hear it, but it was audible to me, and I didn't enjoy it. So I thought I would, you know, just click that off for the time being. Feeling a little bit more relaxed now. Um, when I first started only just a couple of minutes ago, how long have I been on for? Ten minutes. When I first started, I was very flustered and frustrated whether or not you could hear it in my voice it was definitely that way in my head I was frustrated because I wasn't able to get things working and now that things are working I'm feeling a little bit better oh that's good um, I think the, the Neo Citrin will do two things for me it will help me to um, relax obviously 
and I think it will take my headache away, which is um, diminishing to a certain degree. Maybe it has to do with uh, the sense of calm I now feel. It's funny, you know, I can start a show and all of a sudden I go from um, flustered frustration to, I won't say elation, but not far off from that. I'm feeling a lot more relaxed because the technology is working correctly. Not, Not terribly upset by it, but flustered, I think, would be the best thing. So I apologize. But I am feeling a little bit better, so that is a good thing. I had a... Last week was a bit of a a rough week for me. It was good week, a good week work-wise. But I just had a a couple of days there of of just, um, you know, emptiness. And I, I don't know if it was the season, although it's not winter, it's plus two here right now, which is absurdly warm for Ottawa at this time of the year. It almost feels like mid-March. We've had no precipitation for a few days, so the streets are dry. The snow, what's left, is melting rapidly. We were deprived of winter this year, in all honesty. We only had three cold days. It's been unbelievably mild. I don't know how that's going to affect the farming this summer. I uh, I hope it doesn't create too many issues for the local farmers, because we, we have a lot of farmland around, around the city where we live. So I hope, I hope that isn't too hard on them. If things dry out too soon, it makes it very difficult to, to grow crops if you have to irrigate constantly. Mm. But I'm not getting into, not talking climate change, I'm just talking about the weather, that's all. I'm not trying to be... <laughs> Um, problematic or or, um, create an issue. Excuse me. I did have a day or two last week that um, really affected me. And I don't even know, you know, like I said, maybe it was the weather. I definitely know, noticed that with the lack of sunlight that we've been having, it's really dragged me down. And we've got um, a few days of sun in the last few, and it's started to lift my spirits. But uh, a nonstop go, go, go weekend where you're just running and running and running really does drain you. And by the time Monday evening rolls around, there's not a lot of gas left in the tank, to be honest. Sometimes that's just how it goes, right? And again, I apologize for starting late. It was uh, beyond my control. And hopefully that uh, won't be the case next week. I just want to send a note out to folks. It's like, if you could start your show a little bit earlier so I can start mine on time, that'd be great. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I uh, I wasn't too too upset by it. Just, you know, it's a notice. It just it, it kind of throws you off a little bit. I guess I'm babbling this evening because I can't really form clear, coherent thoughts when it comes to how I'm feeling and and um, and what to talk about. I'm just kind of a blank slate this evening. I think it very much has to do with exhaustion. It's funny how. You know, I'm, I'm somebody who gets my energy from other people, and uh, I work from home on Mondays and Fridays. And on Fridays, you know, when I finish work, I usually go and meet up with some friends, and then Bridget comes and joins me later, and, you know, I get lots of energy that way, but Mondays is not necessarily the case. And I was tempted to go out earlier for trivia night, but I just wasn't in the right frame of mind for it. I didn't want to be uh, in a room listening to well, it, it's loud. The, the The trivia host is quite loud. And I just was not in the frame of mind to listen to that. It would have been good to be out amongst, you know, living, breathing human beings and chatting with some friends, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I didn't have the emotional energy this evening to sit in a room full of people and uh, uh, and listen to the noise. I needed. I think I really needed the quiet time this evening. I don't know why that is. Sometimes I do. 
even though I know it would be better for my mental health to be around people, when I don't have the emotional energy, I just simply don't have it. It's kind of, you know, that's kind of it. That's all there is to I just, I just don't have it. So, anyway. I am, uh, I am hopeful that I will awaken tomorrow with lots of energy and, and ready to, to take on the world wake up with a a sense of happiness and and, uh, well-being along with the feeling of uh, purpose. Uh, I didn't feel purposeless today, thankfully, but I I have had a few of those days come and go recently. And it's, you know, I'm really struggling to come up with uh, reasoning why. I don't know. I don't know what the cause is. It may be lack of exercise because normally I've been skiing four or five times at least by now. And that just simply isn't happening this year. The outdoor rinks are all closed. The ice is all melted. So I'm just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's really a, my lack of winter sports. And usually in the winter I'm a lot more active than I am in the summer. In the summer, as much as I love to get out on the water, and it, you know, it's it's a bit of work to do it, or is I can uh, just go across the street to the outdoor rink to skate, and the canal isn't open, of course. Or I can uh, just go down to Mooney's Bay, which is only a few kilometers from here, and, and there's uh, in, um, er, there's lots of urban uh, ski trails for cross-country. And then, of course, I can take shuttle buses to go up to the local, uh, the local hills. The nearest mountain is about an hour and 20 minutes away, and... The next nearest is two hours away, so it's you know that's that's more like a weekend thing because of the driving time there and back, and because I always can find a shuttle bus since I sold my car, and Bridget just sold hers today too. We, we kind of, you know, I wasn't using mine enough to justify the cost, and neither was she using hers. So she said, why don't I just sell it? Like a why not sell it? Get some money for it. You're not paying insurance for it. You can rent out your parking space because there's people that need parking in your neighborhood. Why not? You know, we can look at getting something in a in a couple of years' time. Uh, maybe a maybe one of those e uh, Mach-E Mustangs or whatever they are, the electric ones. I don't know Teslas. I don't, I don't know. I haven't put a whole lot of thought into it. You know, we're looking at a few years now where. Uh, electric vehicles will be pretty much the norm and the way to go. So, yeah. Something to consider in the future. At least uh, some, something we're both considering, anyway. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. I'm a little bereft. I'm feeling, uh, feeling a little, uh, almost a little empty, to be honest with you. I don't know why that is. It's sort of... Hmm. Blase. You ever have that? When when you just... You just don't have... What is going on here? Why is that there? I've got a... Ah, oh, darn it. There's something... And it's broadcasting that shouldn't be broadcasting, and I don't know why it's doing that. <sighs> this is really frustrating right now. My apologies. I will have to straighten that out later. Yeah, all the technology is all over the map tonight, and it's... Uh, I have no idea why. <laughs> it's broadcasting on the wrong channels. Oh, boy. Yeah. It's, um, I don't understand what's taking place here. Is it working? Yeah, it looks like it's working. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, someday. Oh, that's why I'm on the wrong channel, no wonder. Huh. Why is it broadcasting on that channel? Yeah, I understand it's it's darn near impossible to be Carlos in Texas because it's a big place and the the public infrastructure isn't as as far as I know anyway. Um 
great in a lot of places. Public transit infrastructure, and it's something that the city is working on here to make it better. We're a far cry from any European city for that matter, and hopefully we can get better. Because I love public transit. It's just so easy. You don't have to worry about it. The other thing is you don't have to pay for parking. You go out after work with some colleagues and you have a couple of drinks. You don't have to worry about getting around. You just take the public transit. Anyway, that's my thought process. It's, um, we'll, we'll, we'll get our vehicle again eventually someday, but it's just not necessary right now. The day may arise where it will be a requirement or a necessity, but until such time, I'm just not going to worry about it. Pardon me. Terribly sorry about that. It's been one of those, um, hmm, one of those weekends, one of those days, one of those weeks, one of those weekends where I think it all just caught up to me today, you know, now that I think about it. I did enjoy the football game last night. Well, the fourth quarter and overtime up till that point, it was kind of a, a defensive shootout, <laughs> a little bit boring, low scoring, exciting, thrilling end, um, to be honest with you, I'd Either team winning doesn't matter to me. I have no skin in the game. Uh, It was, uh, it's always a fun event, though. Go out, have some chicken wings, meet with some friends, have a beer, hang out for a bit, you know. I keep seeing this movement, though, for people wanting to get the Super Bowl on a Saturday night so that they, I guess, they can go out and party harder. I don't know. (laughs) NFL owns Sundays as it is, so I don't think they're going to change it to a Saturday, especially at this time of the year. Yeah. And NBA and uh, NHL to contend with. I know the the NFL wins every time. I get that, but why compete, right? Anyway, enough about uh, enough about sports ball. I do like the sports ball, though. <laughs> I am uh, trying to trying to organize my thoughts. But I have a a few projects that we're trying to uh, get off the ground lately and I find that I've not had enough time to sit down and actually deal with them and I think that's beginning to frustrate me a little bit and I, I, what I need to do is carve out some time and literally have I'm, I'm going to have to start doing things in my personal life that I do in my business life my professional life it's just schedule a meeting I'm just going to have to start scheduling meetings to get things done scheduling time and sometimes it's a meeting, sometimes it's just me scheduling something that needs to be taken care of. But I find if you don't start to do that at some points, things just fall by the wayside and they don't get done. So I'm um, going to be scheduling a few things. I have to schedule a call later this week with a friend. I'm trying to plan a trip this summer out, to, uh, out west to Calgary to see a buddy to go up there for Stampede and catch a football game and, you know, do some hiking in the mountains. But it's a matter of uh, scheduling time to sit and talk with him and make sure we got our, our schedules lined up so that we can... Uh, I can book the time off work and make the trip, yeah. So that's just one of a million things that are on my mind. i got to get my taxes done, which is just another thing that's on my mind. It's like, oh, boy. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed with all of the things that need to be done. I have to record a jazz show. I have to create an invoice for some production work I did. Yeah. I'm a little overwhelmed at the moment, actually. (laughs) I'm just realizing it now, right here in the middle of this. I'm kind of rambling this evening. I get it, and I apologize. I'm sorry. Just having a hard time uh, keeping my thoughts clear tonight. Having a hard time forming thoughts, to be honest with you. I'm a little uh, all over the map, to say the least. Yes, yeah, you are correct about that, sir, um, and that, and that's one of the you know, one of the ADHD things is, is if you have it scheduled, you'll get it done. If it isn't scheduled, it won't get done. You know, it's it, it's a combination of mental issues. I mean, Depression, anxiety, ADHD, all the all the fun stuff, right? But sometimes it's difficult to just concentrate on even the littlest things. Like I went out earlier for the walk, and I thought I need to stop at the pharmacy, and I need to pick up some 
supplies and um, came to the very sudden realization that uh, I was home and I hadn't made that stop. (laughs) There are a few things I need to pick up and I I don't have them. Uh, I mean, I'll be fine. It's not going to hamper me. I'll get what I need to tomorrow. It was kind of like I was out there. I walked right by the pharmacy. For some reason, I didn't go in. I don't know why that is. Maybe a little self-analysis. Possibly a little inability to deal with people at that point, maybe. Because that does happen. Sometimes where I just... uh, Literally, the the saying, you know, I can't go outside right now, it's too peoply. Sometimes I feel that way. Not often. Not very often at all, to be honest with you, but occasionally I do. I do get hit with that, and it can be a little overwhelming when I had to force myself to go for a walk. I'm, I'm looking at, I have a pile of equipment there from Saturday's mobile show that we did that I have to put away. It's all on the cart, it's strapped down, it's, you know, neat and tidy, but it's, it needs to be put away. And I keep looking at it, and I'm like, I can't, I can't get to it right now, even though it's two meters from me. I can't get to it to do the work I need to do. And that's one of the things about, you know, mental health issues, where you can become a prisoner in your own mind when it comes to little things like that. You can look at it, you can see it, you know you have to do it, but it's you're incapable of physically bringing yourself there and doing it. It's it's um it's difficult some days. Just managing the little things like that, and the other problem with it is, the little things start to pile up, and then they become big things. Nothing insurmountable, of course, but then you start to concentrate and concentrate, think about it, and let the anxiety run wild, while your ADHD won't allow you to actually do anything about it. And then you end up focusing on something else, and then that gets done to death. It's it's never easy. Like this weekend, I'm supposed to pick up some stuff from my folks, and I'm not even sure how I'm going to be able to do it. I think my brother-in-law said it would fit in his truck, but he I think he's out of town, but I'll have to reach out to him and find out if he's capable. Then I need my nephews to help me unload and load because it's a big piece of furniture. And I have to try and get my head straight over this in the next day or two so that I can uh, put myself in the position to get this accomplished because I had committed to doing it this weekend. So... There's that. <sighs> it's it's um it's difficult some days when you have a a thousand and one thoughts and thinking about a thousand and one things that need to be done or should be done or should be tackled. It's like oh I need to vacuum underneath my desk. Oh yeah, but no I have to do the dishes first. Oh but wait a minute, I have to take out the recycling. Oh I have to put away the... None of it's going to get done this evening. I already know this. I already know I won't get any of it done tonight. Because I don't have the emotional strength to deal with any of it. Which is... weird, I guess. But that's really where I'm at right now. I just don't have the emotional strength to deal with it. It's funny, when you come to that realization, sometimes it can really sort of hit you hard. And I just came to that realization now. It's been a strange evening. It was kind of a weird day, followed by a strange evening. And I've been feeling... Like I've been going madly off in all directions. Perhaps I have. And I apologize if I've been less than um, stellar at trying to bring some peace of mind to you this evening. 
I'm just, uh, I'm having a bit of a day. And that happens. That's okay. It's not a big deal. I'll get through it. Tomorrow is another day. And it's not the end of the world. So I'm going to um, get ready for bed soon because I am tired. And the neocitrin is starting to hit. So hopefully I'll have a very good night's sleep. Because I tossed and turned quite a bit last night and I don't, don't really want to do that again. So I will bid adieu. And hopefully I'll be able to get figured out why I am. Why things are working weirdly for me. I might have to uncouple some software for next week. And I'm going to work on it sometime this week to see if I can uh, figure out what the issue was. If I just uncouple a couple of things, which sounds like a bit of a mouthful because it is, maybe things will work better for me next week. Alrighty. I am going to go. I'm going to go lie down. Get ready for bed shortly. Maybe meditate for a little bit. Try and clear my head because it's. Uh, I'm better now than I was when I started 30 minutes ago, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not where I want to be. So maybe I should take my own advice and do some breathing exercises before I go to bed. It'll help to relax me, release the GABA into the brain, and feel a little bit better. So. Have yourselves a wonderful evening and a wonderful week. And hopefully I can get my schedule together so I can complete some tasks that I need to so that next Monday I'm in a better headspace and I'll have some video short video shorts for you this week. And until we meet again, I hope you're well. I hope you're feeling better than when you first got here. And I hope that I wasn't a a letdown for you tonight. Sometimes I know that happens. I'm apologizing now if that was the case. And I'll try and do better next time. You take care. Bye. Do you want to do